welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen. Now, yesterday we talked about customizing a brand new toolbar, and in the past, I've talked about how to add or remove buttons from your toolbars. Just want to caution you that it's possible to really create some havoc with the customized dialog open. Um, one time I was sitting around, I was probably uh, bored, didn't have enough to do at work. I thought it'd be a real joke if I went into my boss's office and let's just say took some of these uh, um, major groupings off the Excel menu. And, uh, you know, this, this was a, a great laugh and he came in and there was, you know, no menu there other than help and uh, very confused. And um, I figured at that point I'd be able to close Excel, open it and everything would be back to normal. Um, so let's try that. We're going to we'll, uh, use the X to close Excel, go back in, open Excel. And I panicked when I realized that those changes that I made had become permanent. There was no way to get them back. Well, it turns out there is a very obscure way. Um, and I was sweating for a while until I, I, I actually learned it. We want to right click a toolbar, choose customize on the toolbars tab. There's a reset button. So we want to go to the worksheet menu bar and choose reset. Are we sure? Yeah, we're sure. And thankfully everything comes back. So if you ever made some really bad changes, either intentionally or as a joke, um, know that it's possible to get the original toolbar back. There you have it. Thanks for joining us. Stop back tomorrow for another tip from Mr. Excel.